is it playing? It's Superman! Da -da 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 -da. But what do you know about Superman, though? What you know? What you know? I know he's on my feet! <laughs> what up, guys? b Boy Magneto here from Now or Never Crew. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to flare, and I'm gonna give you guys some of the most important tips in my eyes to how to get them fastest. Let's go! So flares is finally a move I'm starting to understand and get. It took me definitely a long time, and if my teacher didn't teach me a different way, I definitely don't think I would have ever gotten it. So I hope you're ready for a different outlook on how to learn flares. We're gonna break this down just like my windmill tutorial, tutorial into two parts, okay? So the first part we're gonna do is just a simple slide, and the second part is gonna be a hold. This is gonna be called the flare drill, and if you master these two parts, you'll understand basic flares. So, we're gonna start counterclockwise in a basic stretching position or a lunge position, how we start flares. If you do clockwise, just start with your right hand. Since I'm counter, I start here. So the first part of it we're gonna go over is that first initial circle kick. So we wanna bring that leg circle around behind our leg. So we wanna think about back and around to meet our leg. Back and around and then cross. So we're here. We're gonna make that circle, circle around. Make sure you're making a full circle in the back. So, one more time. So you wanna think backwards and out. Backwards, around, and then here. Once you're here, then your right leg kicks up. Doesn't kick up before your left leg gets there, it kicks up when it gets there. So, first leg, around, second leg, kick. Okay? One more time, circle, kick. Circle, kick, okay? The next part, we're gonna keep our left heel on the ground and slide it all the way to the top left corner and our right leg's gonna kick as hard as it can to our ear. Let's try that together. Left leg, all the way back, right leg to our ear. <laughs> Just like that. So, our right leg is gonna kick up and then as our right leg kicks through, Sorry, as our left leg kicks through and our right leg kicks through our ear, our right hand's gonna come and plant on the ground. So all that together, kick around hold. Like that. From here, second part, our right leg's gonna go under our left leg, and then our left leg's gonna come up towards our ear. So we're here, right leg is gonna kick under, leaning onto our right arm, and then we're gonna pull ourselves up with our left leg. Just like that. So, here, under, you want to slide on that side of your foot and then kick that left leg towards your ear. Through, hold. So let's really break that down. Here, through, you're going to lean all your weight onto that right arm. Left leg's going to come up almost into a side plank position and your left leg's going to kick in and then with your obliques, you're going to pull yourself upwards. So, pulling in and then holding back. That's gonna build the strength and that lean and your leg positioning for a flare. So, both those together. Kick, through. One more. Kick, through. All right, once you're comfortable with that drill, you can start going for an actual flare. So, <laughs> we're gonna slide that leg still on the ground and then pick it up. So instead of holding the second part, we're just gonna go right through. So, kick and through, just like that. So you're gonna hold that first leg, sliding it along the ground, and then once it's at that point, you're just gonna bring it up. And then you're gonna keep your right leg in the air. So, right leg stays in the air, left leg's gonna sweep along the ground, just imagine you're sweeping it, and then pick it up. One more. I'm going to really emphasize that sweep this time. Sweep, up. And then once you're comfortable with that one, you can start trying to go for multiple. Alright guys, now for the tips. So, the first tip, keep your hips as high as you can on that first drill and keep that foot on the ground. So you want to keep your hips up here. Hold that position. If you can't hold that position, practice holding this first. That's a really good drill to practice that, okay? So really hold those hips up. All right, next tip.
For your flares, you want to work on your side planks for strengthening. So right up here, and you want to hold this as long as you can on both sides, and if you can, bring that leg up. So you're on your left, and on your right side, all the way up, and then leg up. And then in the back, you want to go into a down dog position, and then you want to pull yourself forwards to work on the back of your flares. So this, this is for the strengthening and wrist conditioning for your flare. Pull yourself up, and then hold. Legs open if you want, for as long as you can. To condition your wrists and also to stretch them, put your wrists on the ground, put your weight over top of your wrists, and then push up, just like that. So you're keeping your fingers on the ground, and you're just pushing your palms off the ground. So you want to do about a set of 10, I'd say at least, and then just a basic wrist stretch, like this. I hold this for at least 30 seconds, or until the pain or soreness goes away. If it's legitimate pain, obviously don't stretch it. Alright, next tip, stretching out your hamstrings and your legs. So, make sure you're doing your split stretching constantly. If your splits aren't good for flares, your flares won't look nice. So make sure you're stretching this one constantly. I usually go on my elbows, in the center, and then sitting down. And then also here. So you want to be holding this stretch, I'd say for at least a couple minutes every time you're doing flares, before and after training flares. Also, for hamstrings, doing either your, your um, front splits here or just um, your lunge, like this, on both sides. Alright, so the last tip I'm going to give you guys is if you can apply all those leans together, it'll help your training for your flares a lot as well as conditioning for them. So, if you're starting in the back, try doing that pull and then go to the side and then pull it up and then front, and up, and side, up. So, if you do that in a little, with a little bit more motion, you can even make it kind of like a flare. So, if I wouldn't usually start from here, I wouldn't start from, um, from the back, and then I kick right into that first lean, hold, and then up, around, and then back. So that will really help you with learning how to lean and hold your body weight and control it at the same time. All right guys, I hope that helped a little bit. Please like, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much.